Hey, good afternoon, folks. It's Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilia here taking a look at the uh, tropical update for uh, June 30th of uh, 2020. Almost all the way to July. Brought to you by the good folks over there at Pine Belt Gutters and Remodeling. And this time of the year, like we've been talking about the last couple of days, we're generally looking into the Gulf of Mexico, just off the East Coast, or down into the uh, Caribbean. But as we move into July, and now we're starting to kind of open the door for the entire Caribbean and uh, even out toward the open Atlantic. And uh, truly, we could probably draw the line uh, that you see on here, probably up and maybe kind of in like that, give or take. But uh, nevertheless, uh, generally speaking, down into the Caribbean, as we head toward August, we can look a little further out. You're probably wondering, is there anything out there right now? And you know, the long answer is not really. The short answer is no. Uh, the National Hurricane Center, which uh, was keeping tabs on uh, what was happening uh, just off of the East Coast, as well as that uh, open wave uh, that was out there, uh, they've kind of calmed down what they've uh, what they're watching, and they've got us uh, at a less than zero percent chance, if there's even such a thing, uh, for uh, that wave there, and then what's left over this wave here. Now we we do have a little cluster of uh, stuff happening out here, but this is. Uh, more associated with an upper level low and a little bit of a trough out here uh, so we're not concerned about development there but for the most part we're nice and dry across the Caribbean the Northwest Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico and even off of uh, the East Coast and that may change over the next couple of days uh, but for now uh, things looking pretty good uh, as we head into July here we are we've got uh, dry air hanging out into the Gulf of Mexico so uh, we don't have to worry about any kind of development here uh, we've got uh, dry air also into the Caribbean and uh, that's going to kind of put a lid on anything that may want to develop. Now, this becomes an interesting thing as we head through the end of this week and toward the uh, 4th of July weekend. Uh, this, originally, the thought was maybe it gets into the Gulf of Mexico and then kind of curlicues and then moves back off to the east. The thought is now that it may never even make it down to the Gulf of Mexico. It may get hung up right along the coast, which means we wouldn't have to worry about tropical development from that in the Gulf. Now, that may change as we head through the weekend, and it sneaks off into the Atlantic, just off the coast of the Carolinas and Georgia. However, even that is uh, questionable, as it may kind of kind of slink up the uh, east coast over land. Uh, there's an outside chance, or it may get ripped apart. All the while, uh, stuff is nice and calm into the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, and we don't have to worry about anything else at this time so we get all of our attention can be paid to whatever this may become if anything at all as it kicks off the east coast and away from us i'll also note for south mississippi and parts of alabama and louisiana we do end up with kind of this leftover area of maybe surface and low level uh vorticity or low level area of lower pressure and that may that may uh, keep our rain chances up as we head through next week. Not a lot, but you know, th instead of 20 to 30 percent, 30 to 40 uh, percent chance for rain into the afternoon. Not tropically related, but just as an aside on the forecast. So there's a look at your tropical update for uh, June 30th of uh, 2020, brought by the good folks at uh, Pine Belt Gutters and Remodeling.